Did you see Marjorie Taylor Greene's tweet? Today she tweeted out that uh, Joe Biden is a socialist. Like, I actually want to find the tweet to read it to you because it, like, I just woke up in the morning and I saw this and it almost made my head explode. It's just, I don't understand. Like, she has to try to be this fucking stupid. There's no way that this is... Well, she's got nothing else to do. She's been kicked off all the committees. Right, she she does have a lot of free time. Okay, so... She has a lot of free time. This is what she says. Joe Biden is a socialist. Dem voters don't fully realize it yet. Oh, okay. Uh, The Democratic Party are socialists, but they are all a little different in varying degrees. They think it's good for society as a whole, but it's a fantasy and all Marxism. Socialism is always socialism. What does that even mean? (laughs) I I have no fucking clue. You know what? That tweet is designed for a Pavlovian reaction. Right. To hear the word socialism, it's like if I say socialism enough, then at some point I don't I don't even have to make sense because they're already going to be thrown into a frothy rage. They're going to have like this, you know, uh, um, what is it? Uh, Nom like flashback or, mm-hmm. or or vision of like you know eating your dog or you know eating out of a dumpster and and in Venezuela, Vuvuzela, all this <laughs> Vuvuzela. Shit. I, I, and, and that's that's what it's designed to do because they just – they repeat this these things without knowing what they're talking about. Now, what's funny is I actually do kind of identify as a socialist now. I've actually Same. moved left since, since 2016. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, fuck it. Seize the means of production. Yes. Let's do this. Work, work, work our own businesses. And, and understand that the, the definition of socialism they, they, that they use this isn't a real definition of socialism. I think we all know that. You know, they use this weird, like, definition of it that doesn't make any sense. It's not actually what it, what it really is. It's I would just like to hear them define it. Like, I've never heard a single person who uses yes. socialist as a synonym for bad define it. Like, if you were to ask Marjorie Taylor Greene, Define socialism. What would she say? Yeah, she'd say Venezuela. She'd say the Democratic Party. Things that she already (laughs) says, like, interchangeably with socialism. And I've said this before in my program, and it's probably politically incorrect. But remember back in, like, the early 2000s, when everyone would say uh, gay as a synonym for bad, they'd be like, that's gay. Socialism is now that uh, that replacement. It's, oh, that's socialism. That's so socialist. Mm -hmm. Bro, that's so, like, that's literally the way that they use it. And it's childish. It's almost unbelievable how stupid they sound. But they think that when they say that, they're actually winning people over. And what's weird is that I've seen normies in real mm-hmm. life, which um, is it, strange to me, like say, uh, oh, well, isn't that socialism? As if that's like a bad thing. And mm-hmm. I think that the visceral response is kind of like starting to go away. But you still see mm-hmm. like the impact of these idiots like Marjorie Taylor Greene. And it's it's so it's demoralizing and it's weird. Like my only response to that tweet was I wish because I don't even how do you even respond? Like you can't form a response to something that incoherent. And let me let me just add socialism totally gay. Yes. <laughs> now now I would say yes, definitely socialism is gay as hell. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh what what, what is it um uh, gay, gay space communist luxury luxury gay uh, space communism. Yes. Yes. Be gay, do drugs, embrace communism. <laughs> <laughs> No, there, there's, there's no there's no response to it other than like like stop threatening me with a good time. Thank you. That's that's exactly <laughs> it. If if everything that these idiots, uh, what they were saying about the Democratic Party, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, were true, I would fucking be the biggest show for the Democratic Party on the planet. Yeah. Like if he oh, was yeah, actually yeah. a Marxist, oh my, how based would that be? Like he doesn't even support a fucking public option. Like and they're calling him a Marxist. Like holy shit. It shows you really, and, and something that I've been focusing a lot on my show is conspiracies, right? Conspiracies, <laughs> Me too, yeah. Cultish behavior, because that's what, like, understand that we, we live in a country now where the other major political party is a fucking reactionary, like, cult that yeah. embraces nothing but conspiracy theories. I They're mean, insane. And Marjorie, Marjorie Taylor Green, Jewish space lasers. I'm sorry, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, people like this, I, I swear, like, 10 years ago, would have been, like, muttering themselves in the subway, mm-hmm. all right? Or or in a subway. <laughs> like, like, 
just space lasers. And, <laughs> are you okay, miss? Are you going to be all right? Do you need some help? Socialism. Marxism. Everywhere. Okay, I'm glad that... Okay, I have to ask you this question, Jeff, and you might not sure. have the perfect answer to it. How long do you think it's going to take? And this is going to make you uh, probably hate... Uh, humanity or lose more faith in humanity how long will it take until we see marjorie taylor green as one of the more sane republicans like how long because we all remember back in 2008 i was thinking oh my god sarah palin like there's no way it can get any more crazier than this then came donald trump then came marjorie taylor green so i'm like okay in 10 years is there gonna be like someone who's like frothing at the mouth like <laughs> eating like literal feces talking about like communist democrats i just i don't know there's no floor. Like, when I think, okay, they're not going to get lower than this, it, they, they take that as a challenge. So, like, how long do you think, if ever, until we see her as, like, one of the more reasonable Republicans and we think, oh, m remember when we thought Marjorie Taylor Greene was the most craziest? Do you think that well, day is coming? <laughs> so, so, first thing, can't lose something that you never had. Yeah. No faith in humanity. No, That's... <laughs> no, no, not at all. Not anymore. No. Um, so we've already rehabilitated George W. Bush. Yeah. Right. I thought that was bad enough. All right. Uh, first, rehabilitation of Donald Trump. That's got to come first. Yeah, like, I you, see that. You know, before, before Marjorie Taylor Greene, like somebody, you know, is going to be hugging Donald Trump and saying, it's okay. Yeah, he's one of us now. He's all right. He's one of the same Republicans, not like that guy over there. Ooh, yeah, the, the 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 feces eater. <laughs> yeah, that that guy over there is a little nuts. I mean, you know, he's part of the shit eating ca uh, caucus now. Like, and and they're they just got elected, and uh, what are you gonna do? They're gonna force us all to eat shit. Uh, but hey, you know, they're they're just a small member of the uh, the the Republican Party, and then they all take over the Republican Party, and the, and still, the Democrats would be like. Bipartisanship. We can work with them. We can work them with them on a like. Uh, I know you just presented a bill to make everybody literally eat shit forcibly. We're going to yeah forcibly. <laughs> we're just gonna say that you only should be forced to eat half a bowl of shit. <laughs> Compromise. And, as you describe this, Jeff, I'm like envisioning like the BuzzFeed article about 10 cute things that Jill Biden and Donald Trump did at the funeral oh for like Henry Kissinger, where like she gave uh, him a little like a breath mint or some shit like that. Like, candy or something. Yeah. Like a Hershey's kiss right there. History repeats itself. Like oh people God, think we're horrible. joking and we kind of are, but this is going to happen. It's only a matter of time. It's just when. We live in hell world. <laughs> it's just somewhere along the line i think like we either slipped into a matrix or 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 some sort of giant hole in the space-time continuum mm -hmm. or some alien species fucking with us or something something's going on right yeah. the and simulation because, is glitching it's it's glitching so goddamn bad because the craziest the, the darkest timeline there you go mm -hmm. um it's so it's gotten so bad and it keeps getting worse and it's almost as if like we're the only ones that notice like on the pro on the progressive left we're the only ones that notice and it's driven half of us mad right and the rest of, <laughs> and the rest of us are just like well fuck what do we do yeah it I, makes you I feel crazy no idea. <laughs> like makes you feel like hang on like i shouldn't not think much of like marjorie taylor green doing this crazy thing where she like is trying to yell at aoc through like the the little mail slot but i see that and i'm like yeah that's marjorie green i'm not even it doesn't even phase me anymore like i'm completely numb from it's this shock it's what what is it going to take to shock us now exactly like, we, 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 we literally had people in the capitol building breaking smashing windows breaking doors stealing stuff smearing literal feces all over the floor and the walls and then afterwards republicans are like wasn't us antifa it was antifa <laughs> <laughs> <What> the <fuck? laughs> they were carrying trump flags trump hats 
and were filming themselves going, Whoop, Trump! 2020! <laughs> Stop the steal! <laughs> what is happening right now? What is this world that we're in, Mike? What the fuck happened? Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?